Did Camila Cabello get dragged for copying artists? Is Katy Perry pregnant? And is Trisha Paytas dating Aaron Carter? There's drama out there, fake news in the air, but we're here to find the truth. There's no need to be scared. If it's drama that you seek, we have the rumors from the week, so there's no need to lose control because we're breaking it down on Rumor Patrol. That was done, that was my favorite you've ever done. That was a lot to memorize. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of Rumor Patrol. If you tune in every week, you know that we break down the biggest rumors of the week. And mm -hmm. each episode, you know, I have to do a little intro. Mm -hmm. And last week, Drew dissed my intro, so I had to redeem myself this week. You redeemed yourself. You really did. <laughs> Thank you. Hats off. Thank you. Um, but guys, if you're here, and you don't subscribe, click that subscribe button. Do it. Uh, click the bell, mm -hmm. uh, comment below. We love your comments. And also like this video and also share this video. Yes. Show us some love. We have a lot to discuss All today. The things. Who are you? I am somebody. <laughs> what? I'm somebody. You didn't say your name. <laughs> oh, I'm Emil Ennis Jr. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm, like, I'm Drew Dorsey. <laughs> Let's get started. <laughs> okay, Emil. First rumor of the day. Is it true that Ariana, you got the shakes that's making me have the shakes. Is it true that Ariana Grande was copying artists? Is that what it was? Mm -mm. What'd she do? What's the internet saying? Is it true that Ariana Grande Ariana's is being not, dragged not Ariana for Ariana copying artists? What? <laughs> oh my God. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> is it true that Camila Cabello is in trouble for copying artists? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's the artist, I thought it said Ariana Grande. Okay, okay, here we go. So, Camila Cabello, mm -hmm. if you haven't seen, she was releasing all these teasers on Instagram, uh -huh. and they looked bomb, mm -hmm. and she had like these little monologues going on, and everybody was excited. It's like the world of romance, and it's gonna be something coming out this week, right? Mm -hmm. So people were excited, mm -hmm. but then some things happened with Halsey and Lana Del Rey that had fans dragging her. So first Halsey tweeted, oh, so it's just Hopeless Fountain Kingdom, but not, okay. So Pop Crave said that fans saw this as her shading Camila, and some fans thought that Halsey was just referring to her new music, but then Halsey deleted the tweet and said, just posted a two-year-old draft by accident. Please forgive me, I'm getting too old for technology. Now some fans still think it was shade, some think it was a hidden message. Have you ever um, posted like an old photo or draft or anything by accident? No. I haven't either. I feel like that's like, how, how do you do that on accident? You have to go to your draft. Well, she might have been looking for something in the draft. Maybe she's deleting it and then she accidentally posted it or I don't know. But if you drafted it, then you wrote it at some point. At some point, yeah. But it said she said a two year old draft. So she had to be going back in the archive. She must have been looking for something, right? Must have. I don't think it was, I think this was a stretch. Anyway, but she wasn't the only person who said something. Lana Del Rey commented on one of Camila's posts saying, what the hell in the comment section. And some Instagram users believed that this was Lana throwing shade at Camila for similarities between what Camila posted and Lana's 2012 ride video, which also has a similar feeling monologue. And fans started coming for Camila, dragging her for the similarities. But then Lana clapped back saying, I meant what the hell in a good way, as in it's so good. I can see that. Yeah. Like, what the heck? Like, I'm so excited for you. I don't know, I think yeah. everything can be taken out of context. This is why I don't like texting yeah. or having certain conversations through text because mm -hmm. it can get taken out of context yeah. all the time. Yeah. Like, you can text somebody like, I blew my back out. And they're like, oh my goodness. Right. It's like, no, I actually, I, I like. Or I got my back blown out. <laughs> anyway, things can be misconstrued. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, especially uh -huh. with this type of situation, mm -hmm. because also, you kind of have, like, to be have that many followers and right. that much of a public figure and then you just like accidentally tweet a shade, like, right. it probably isn't shade because they wouldn't have done that, yeah. you know? That's true. You know? I, yeah, I think celebs mm. have, wow, I can't even talk. <laughs> Is it true that Camila Cabello <laughs> was dragged for copying artists? Technically she was, but is it true that the artist Copied her? I mean, or she copied the artist? I don't think so. I don't think no. so. But she did get dragged by fans. Uh, yeah. It's a sticky situation. I don't know what button to put. I know. I'm gonna uh, say no. Oh, false. 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 Drew, mm. is it true that Katy Perry is pregnant with Orlando Bloom's baby? None of that rhyme, but Drew. And it Drew. didn't, but I like the rhythm of it. <laughs> Listen, I don't think she's pregnant, but I would love for them to procreate together. Okay. Let's get into it. Yes. 
Okay, so you know that Katy Perry and Orlando Bloom have been going strong for a while now. They became engaged earlier this year, but now there's rumors that they are expecting a little bundle of joy. Okay. Now there are specific outlets discussing this, but this mostly comes from pics of Katy at the premiere of Orlando's new show, Carnival Row. So the cover of OK Australia says, Katy and Orlando surprise baby news. The wedding's back on and they're expecting. They have photographic evidence, allegedly. The article says Katie was glowing and placed her hands protectively on her tummy all night. She seemed to be caressing a baby bump and Orlando appeared to be over the moon. So you've seen some of the photos, but let's look at this particular photo. Okay, this is the thing. I still think it is safe mm -hmm. to never assume someone is pregnant until they say something. Even if they're eight months pregnant and it's so obvious, just be like, oh. That is fair. You know? That is fair. <sighs> Don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. No, it's true. It's true. I do understand where some people could come from that though, because just the way her hand is placed in that last one, it does kind of look like she's saying. I don't think so. I really don't. Because listen, yeah. she's wearing a tight dress. Uh -huh. If she was trying to hide a pregnancy, you wouldn't wear a tight dress. I mean, that's true. Well, maybe she's not trying to hide. I mean, that's true. Maybe she's not trying to hide. But, but I, she didn't say anything either. So then it's like. Her hands on. I don't just put my hand on my stomach when I'm walking. It was a around. very particular position, you know? Like, especially on the carpet, like, there's different. But oh, wait, wait, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. What? You know, being on the red carpet, they're snapping photos, like, constantly. It could have just been almost like a. She's about to place it here, and they just caught her, like, here. Uh, no, because you. I don't know. I don't know. I still say she's not pregnant until she says she's pregnant. What but else I would we got, love Drew? It. Okay, more information. <laughs> They look happy and there's definitely something there, but we can't say it's a baby bump. Now these photos were on August 21st and there's been more photos since. Here's Katie at Ellie Golding's wedding. I will say that outfit definitely looks like it's trying to conceal something, but the yeah. thing is that doesn't make sense is obviously she wore, like you said, a skin tight dress literally the day prior. So right. it's not like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. The only thing that's suspicious is the oversized clothing. But yeah. they're, the bows are taking a day apart. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not like her body looked different. Right. You know what I mean? That fast. But here's the thing. This other thing that I will say is very common when it comes to pregnancies. Hmm. In addition to everything you said, which is all excellent points as far as you don't want to assume because you just never really know. Yeah. There are so many people who are afraid of revealing their date or that they're pregnant too soon because of miscarriages. Right. And like, you just want to make sure you get to term, or some people don't even like announcing until the baby is here just because you just never you know. You never know. So. Yeah, that's very true. It's, it's one of those things where it's her, it's her pregnancy, well. Potential pregnancy. It's her potential pregnancy. Mm -hmm. And if she is pregnant, congratulations. If she's not, you know. Live your life, girl. Live your life. Um, but is it true that Katy Perry is pregnant with Orlando Bloom's baby? I hope so. I hope so, maybe, maybe. but there's no confirmation. But you still look great, Katy. You look bomb. Okay, Emil, moving on to the next. Mm -hmm. Is it true that Trisha Paytas is dating Aaron Carter? I wish we had steering wheels, because you know we're on room patrol, like on the right, road, like we're so we're like down. driving down the road. Oh, next room. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to get on the road again. Hey, hey. <laughs> um, Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas. Uh, love you, girl. Um, so, Trisha Paytas and Aaron Carter, it's a whole thing, guys. <laughs> so, it's been going on for a minute. It is a whole thing. It's a whole situation. Yeah. So, Let's just start with the fact that they were back in the headlines um, early August, mm -hmm. and there was like a, a Twitter war going on, and some things were exposed. Thanks. So like I said, earlier in August, there were some tweets back and forth where Trisha Paytas admitted that she had hooked up with Aaron Carter, and then he unfollowed her. Then Aaron started showing DMs from Trisha dating back to 2016. Then Trisha clapped back saying, you really gonna expose DMs? Okay, here we go. Why you f***ing someone when your girlfriend lives at your house, but you try to tell me she is not? You told me you were single. What the f***? Clench my pearls. I love reading tweets aggressively. <laughs> Never have I used such words. Just to really put the emphasis in there. Anyway, the whole thing is messy. So after seeing all of that, mm -hmm. we were shook. Shook. When we saw uh, them tweeting at each other and then appearing on live together right. over the weekend. Right. So here's a little clip. We are going to be dating. So therefore, thank you very much, but no thank you. So as you can see, they're happy, they were hanging out, and they even kissed at one point, and everybody was really shook. So everybody was like, what's really going on? And, and then Trisha even retweeted this person who said, watch his live on Instagram, and that has the photo of the pair kissing. This was in response to a thread talking about Aaron picking Trisha up. This is the thing. I am happy for Trisha if they are together just because she's been going through it after her breakup with Jason. Yeah. 
but I'm just like a little bit confused because I remember a long time ago she posted a video talking about like the one time she hooked up with Aaron like back in the day and he said some not so nice things about her. So it's kind of like, I know people can change. People can change, people can change. and there's, it's all about giving people second chances, but yeah. like, it is interesting because, like I said earlier in the month, you know, they were going, or in August, they were going back and forth, and like he was in a relationship, but then he broke up, and then they got back. It was it was messy, like it was yeah. a legit messy situation. So then that's why so many people were confused. But just to clarify things, kind of, Trisha yeah. and Aaron responded. So Trisha quote tweeted an E News article saying they were sparking relationship rumors and said, "No, no, just like brother and sister who kiss on the lips." Love you, Aaron Carter. We might as well be twins. Okay. She said that? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do brother and sister kiss on the lips? Not like that. Dude, I, not what? Like, and I never <laughs> kiss my sister on the lips. I mean... I mean, it's fine if you do, yeah. but like, I don't think that's like a but common... But even when you kiss family, like that type of immediate family, I right. feel like it's like a... Love you. Right, it's not, not like, like a, a like a long, passionate, right. head turn situation. So here's what Aaron had to say, though. Aaron <laughs> said, I'm single, guys, dot, 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 dot. For the time being, I'm not rushing into anything. Then he followed up that tweet with, I just got out of a relationship. That isn't mature to move on too fast, period. I have to learn from my mistakes. Then to make things clearer, they did another IG Live together. You know, just I, I just think right now it's in our better interest for us to not jump into anything too quickly. Yeah, I agree. And I think that's the mature thing to do. Yeah. No, I agree. I'm, I'm totally down. We're cool always. Okay. Okay, I have questions. Mm -hmm. So it seems like they were FaceTiming each other, but live? Mm -hmm. It kind of just seemed like it was for the public as opposed to a genuine conversation because if I was having that conversation with somebody, yeah. who, you know what I mean? I wouldn't put it on live. It, yeah, I think that confused me too because when they did the first live together, they were in the car together, so that makes sense. Made sense, sense yeah. I, those type of things always confuse me, and that's just when people, when like celebs or influencers get on their Instagram live and then they bring fans in, that's one thing. Right. Or like when Nikki and Megan Thee Stallion got on there, like right, whatever, right, right. but like that particular subject of the conversation, it was, was like just they kinda, were having a personal conversation. Yeah, <laughs> so it just felt kind of, but at the same time, it could have just been like an expansion of clearing the rumor. Yeah. But it does feel like something they could have just done through Twitter or like not live. And it was weird like for that particular part, like half her face was showing. Cause I don't know. Details. But I that's, yeah, the, the, the live part is throwing me off. Cause I wonder what if it was a question that was posed and that's why they were talking about it. But even so it sounded like they hadn't had this conversation in private beforehand mm -hmm. and they were just like having it for real on live. Yeah. And why on live? Like why? I guess they live their lives in the public. Yeah, you know? <laughs> Cause she had done a couple Insta stories earlier saying she was going to the grocery store for the first time in a long time. So I think she was just bored, honestly. She just, yeah. <laughs> she probably she thought he was on live and was like, oh, let's join. Let's talk. I think that's really just as simple as it was. Yeah. But it was like, I don't know, it wasn't awkward, it's just, Different. Different, you know? It's yeah. not a conversation I would have had there, but at the same time, like, people wanted to know, so yeah. they answered the question. I mean, well, I guess they, they debunked the rumor themselves. Yeah, is it true that Trisha Betis is dating uh, Aaron Carter? Uh, False. Oh, they're figuring things out. They're figuring it out. All right, guys, <laughs> so before we go, we have to highlight our favorite comments from the week, starting mm -hmm. with this one from KM who says, Drew really is not about the foolishness. We need more right. Drew in the mill. They really are the only duo for this. <sighs> Thank you. Thanks. Is that your card? I just got excited. What else you got? I, I second what they said. Nuria Pujante said, if you read all the comments, you should do the famous Carlton and Will Fresh Prince of Bel Air dance. Wait, do, okay, do you mean the, the uh, Carlton uh, dance or do you mean the one where it's uh, like dun, 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 dun. Is that the one they mean? We gotta get a little variety of both. Okay. Okay. Five, six, eight, seven, seven, eight. eight. And then what do I do? Jump on it, jump on it, jump on it. What's next? This comes from Lena Johnson who said, Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so extra. <laughs> Dramil, sorry I had to. It's back with another Room Patrol video. I'm so happy I missed watching this epic duo on Clever. Looking forward to more videos. Aww. 
<laughs> Thank you. Here every Tuesday, Wednesday. That dancing got me hot. It did. Okay. What's warm. the last one, Drew? Last one is from Tracy Reimer. She said, I find it hilarious that on Clever News, Drew looks stoned, but on Clever Style, she looks just fine. LOL. Listen. Facts. I am so sober. I don't even smoke weed. <laughs> Can you Facts. say weed on YouTube? Yeah. I don't. I like, I literally am just have crackhead energy mm -hmm. and I'm high on life. High on life, which we all yep. should be on. But guys, thank you so much for your comments. Thank you for watching each and every single week because I know you do. And make sure you subscribe. Mm -hmm. The show comes out every Wednesday um, at 8 a.m. Yep. So in case you didn't know, now you know. Now you know. Um, and we will be back here, same time, same place next week. And guys, just thank you so much for supporting us. Thank you. And um, bye. Bye. But guys, before you go, click right over here to watch the last episode of Rumor Patrol. Mm-hmm. And always subscribe and hit the bell. <laughs> subscribe and hit the bell. Mm -hmm. Do it.